Hey, welcome back everybody to another episode of Midlife Crisis. I'm your host, Leo. Hey, before we start, don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe, the notification, and whatever other freaking button there is on the bottom. I don't know. I'm freaking old. I don't give a shit. Listen up, guys. We're putting the steering wheel back in the 2008 C6 Corvette convertible. All I did was shove it on, feed the wires through this bottom hole, and that's it. That's all I've done so far. Make sure it's in there nice and tight. You're going to take this clip, okay, with all the grooves facing back, the smooth side facing you, and that's how it's going to fit in this connector right here, okay? There you go. Pull these down. Take your 21 millimeter nut, screw it in by hand, okay? Now, I know not everybody has every single tool out there. That's fine. I suggest you get yourself a good impact driver, okay? This impact uh, uh, gun here uh, with a 21 millimeter and an extension is going to make real easy work. If you're there twerking with a ratchet, you're going to be here a long time, my friend. Okay, so... We're just gonna put this on, connect, hold, done. Look, I know you're gonna have a lot of people saying, well, you need to check the torque spec. Buddy, it's an impact driver. They use these on car lug nuts. This ain't coming out. If it comes out, you're doing some serious messed up shit and you got bigger problems to worry about. All right, steering wheels screwed on, wires connected, we got our airbag. All right, this is very easy, guys. Look, it's just two connectors, two clips to put it on. You take the white, you connect it to the white. Once you put it in, push that down, it expands, locks it in. Same thing here, you put it in, Push down, expands it. These two buttons are going to go through these two holes. Okay? That's basically when you pushed in with the Allen, that's what you were squeezing these little vertical rods in there towards the middle to come out of these grooves. So when you push it in, it's going to push in past and lock those rods into the grooves. And that's how it's held in. Okay? So there's no real magic to it you just line them up right just make sure it looks kind of center and you just push gently and that's it i mean it's your horn you don't have to go crazy right you can feel it click it's already in and that's done now i'm gonna go connect the power back on but uh that's it steering wheel's back on okay now let's go over it we have a video where we put the ceramic coating on the steering wheel, right, to protect the carbon fiber. Had a video where I took the steering wheel off. I broke the clock spring. I had to get one of those, and that was a whole drama. Never mind about that. We did a video on how to transfer everything from the old steering wheel to the new steering wheel, and how to put the steering wheel back on, all right? So if you'd like to see any of those videos, just subscribe, check out all my videos. They're all right there. They'll be very easily found with easy descriptions, but I think this is a huge improvement. I know it doesn't give any horsepower, but man, it just feels so racy. I'm, I'm going to have to make sure I take it easy on the gas pedal, you know what I mean? Because my senile old mind just doesn't put one and one together to make two. Sometimes it makes four. All right? So as far as the inside of this car goes, folks, I feel like we're done. I did the radio with a hidden USB thumb drive, did the shift knob. Did the steering wheel, looking all nice. We're going to be doing some more videos. Spoiler, splitter, side skirts, and what other dumb stuff I come up with. All right, till next time, this is Leo, your host of Midlife Crisis. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like, and have fun.